So hey, what's up mga kokote? It's me, Ate Maria, at welcome sa Kodrinos, where learning is the name of the game. So kung bago ka pa lamang sa aming YouTube channel, i-click mo na subscribe, like, and share button para mag i ka sa aming mga videos. So samahan natin si Super K sa panibagong araw at panibagong lesson na ating matututunan dito sa Kodrinos. At ang bagong lesson natin for today is about what is energy. So syempre, basic na to para sa mga I'm high school students and of course sa mga grade 3 to 4 students so so nasa basic na meaning na energy is the ability to do work so dito papalawakin pa natin kung ano pa yung malalaman natin about what is energy so before we start we have a little bit uh, time for our trivia segment so eto na children who, who eat oatmeal regularly are 50% 50, 50 less likely to be overweight Scientists at Wayne State University did an, did an experiment and they found out that after eating a bowl of cereal for nighttime snack for 4 weeks, their respondents lost 1 kilo. So, syempre, di ba, part ng breakfast natin yung oatmeal and I really, really love oatmeal. Especially yung Quaker Oats na may fruits. So, yung meron siya mga bagong variants ngayon, may chocolate, banana, and plain na pwede ka maglagay ng mga fresh fruits. And I really like yung bago nilang oatmeal na may uh, raisins and I think that's apple. Yeah, raisins and apple. So, nung, so, nung nag-start ako ng weight loss journey ko, um, nag-start nag na ako mag, uh, kumain ng oatmeal, nag-start na ako kumain ng Nestle Fitness, nagbawas ako ng kanin, um, um, hindi na ako nagme-merienda or midnight snack. Um, not everyday, pero may mga times na nagme-merienda ako, pero hindi araw-araw. Um, kinat ko na rin yung midnights na kasi nga ata nakakataba daw yun and palagi akong umiinom ng tubig especially sa daytime. So yung oatmeal nakatulong talaga siya sa akin for my weight loss journey. So kapag pumupunta ako sa mall, bumibili ako ng oatmeal so ma madalas Quaker Oats siya or kahit ano or basta oatmeal. Basta oatmeal siya. So yan, sabi nila their respondents lost 1 kilo. So kung gusto ko nag kakaroon kayo ng weight loss journey or kung gusto nyo magkaroon ng medyo um, mabawasan yung timbang nyo so you can eat oatmeal every day to lose your weight so so for me yung sa akin Quaker Oats talaga yung um, gusto gusto kong oatmeal at all time tsaka yung Nestle Fitness any variant so yan madalas pumupunta ako dun sa mga ganong section kasi nga hindi na ako bumibili ng chichiria so yun yung aking alternative so remember um, do not uh, eat chips or other chichiria kasi nakakataas talaga ng timbang and hindi yung maganda sa katawan. So, yung ginagawa kong alternative for chips is oatmeal, yung fit bars, um, yung mga soy milk, so yung mga ganon for my snack. Para hindi mataas yung calorie intake ko and syempre, mas healthy pa sa katawan ko. So, yan. So, oatmeal is really, really helpful for us. So, dahil nga sa research na ginawa ng mga scientists from Wayne State University, nalaman nila yung mga respondents ng um, ng mga children of uh, eating a bowl of cereal in a nighttime snack for 4 years, their respondents lost 1 kilo. So, yan. Very helpful ang ating oatmeal. Go to oatmeal na kayo. So, yan. So, dito naman, would you like to try this? So, medyo i-wide natin. Para makita syempre yung design natin. So, medyo nilitan ko yan. Pero, kaya naman natin i-wide yan. So, yan. Would you like to try this? So, objective natin for today about this lesson. And, uh, and ang objective natin for this activity is know that energy is an agent of change. So, paano kaya nasasabi yung knowing that energy is an agent of change? So, yan. What will... We need about this uh, activity, piece of chalk, paper, hammer, and scissors. So, dahil nga meron tayong medyo sharp na bagay and meron tayong hammer, so, syempre, we should seek um, help from our parents, um, elder sisters, so, kung sino available sa inyo nakakatanda to guide you for this activity. So, syempre, medyo delikado when, you, when we use hammer. So, baka, syempre, mapukpok natin yung ating daliri and yung scissors natin, we should be careful kasi matalas. Baka matalas yung scissors na yun. Okay, what to do? Strike the piece of chalk with the hammer. Is there any change in the piece of chalk? So, syempre, 
Meron kang chalk dyan, pukpukin mong ganon. So, ano yung nangyari? Ano yung changes na nangyari sa kanya? So, yan. Use a pair of scissors to cut the paper. Is there any change in the piece of paper? So, yan. For example, gumagawa tayo ng activity sa arts. So, nagkakat tayo ng mga papers, colored papers. So, ano yung nangyari doon sa papers natin when we cut it? So, yan. Yung ating activity for today. So, ano yung natutunan natin? What did you learn? Or what? <clears throat> or what did we learn? What happened to the piece of chalk when you stuck it with the hammer? And was there any change when you cut the piece of paper with the scissors? And what did the activity show? Ano ba yung pinakikita na activity sa atin? Ano-ano nga ba yung mga dapat nating malaman and makita doon sa activity natin na related sa ating topic na what is energy? So, yan. Let's start our lesson proper about what is energy. So, sorry. Nakaano pa pala. Nakazoom siya. Next, let's find out. Just about everything you see and do involve energy, but you cannot see energy. You cannot see that. You cannot smell it, neither you you cannot touch it. Neither can you touch it, but it's there. But it is there. You can only see and feel its effect. So, hindi mo siya pwedeng um, makita, um, hindi mo siya pwedeng maamoy, but you can only see and feel its effect. So, hindi mo nakikita si energy. Pero nakikita mo yung effect niya ay nararamdaman mo yung effect niya. So, you cannot see electricity. Nakikita nyo ba electricity? Pero nakikita nyo lang yung effect and yung pakiramdam na merong electricity. So, yan. But you can see the effect when your electric bulb lights up. So, you can feel its heat when you turn on your stove. So, yun. Nararamdaman natin and nakikita yung effect lang ng ating energy but we cannot see the energy itself. Yung, pi, yung energy talaga. But we can feel the effect and yung kanyang outcome sa ating mga household materials or sa ating everyday basis. So, yan. When you stuck the piece of chalk with the hammer, change, a change took place. The chalk was broken into pieces. The hammer has energy. So, yan. Electric bulb and stove. What is energy? Energy is defined as the ability to do work. When work is done, some changes take place. Therefore, we can also define energy as the ability to cause change. Energy is the ability to do work and energy, we can also define it as ability to cause change. She has the ability na may magbago sa isang bagay and she has the energy has the ability to do work. So, energy can be changed from one kind to another. As soon as the archer releases the arrow, its potential energy is changed to kinetic energy. The arrow starts moving. Anything that is moving has kinetic energy. So, di ba yung potential and kinetic energy? When it comes to potential energy, it is the stored energy. And when it comes to kinetic energy, it is the energy in action or the moving. Uh, anything is moving objects or anything is the kinetic energy. So, yan. A running athlete as a can has a kinetic energy. As soon as he reaches the finish line, he stops. His kinetic energy is transformed to potential energy. So from the ability to do work or the kinetic energy, the anything that moving is the kinetic energy. And when the runner stops, so it will be the it will be transformed into potential energy. Because it's tumigil na siya sa paggalaw. So yeah, the food you eat has. Chemical potential energy. After the but after eating, the body changes the food into energy that you can use for work and play. You are able to move and run around because of the energy that comes from the food you eat. So that's we call calories. So we when we eat about breakfast, lunch, and of course dinner. So nag yung mga yon ay nag ah it changes the food into energy. You can use. Work to play. Kaya nga tayo may energy to do some work, to do some exercise, to do some activities for our everyday life because of the food we eat. Because it will um, turn into a energy. So yan, energy that comes from the food you eat is measured in calories. You have to use up or burn this energy by doing work and exercise. If you do not use it up, you become, you become fat. So of course, from everyday, I eat only 2,500 calories of food. 
to be able na ma-maintain yung weight ko and magkaroon ako ng lose weight journey. So, kung marami kang kinakain na calories, kung marami kang kinakain fast food, chips, and anything that is junk food, yung energy mo ay may, hindi, no, hindi mo ginagamit, it will become a fat. So, yan. Yan. Ito yung picture na the food we eat gives us energy. So, thank you. Have a great day and God bless. Sana may natutunan kayo sa ating lesson na to. Click the thumbs up button if you like this video. And leave a comment down below if you have suggestions, clarifications, and of course, suggestions for our future videos. And of course, you can correct us on our recent or uh, past videos to be able to teach you and to be better teachers in this YouTube channel. So, thank you. Have a great day and God bless. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.